So another Andy B two minute video. And I was thinking about crutches and things that help us through life. At the moment, I'm not drinking caffeine and it's a personal choice. Um, it's because I'm on some medication for my heart and I didn't want to do anything that would unnecessarily make my heart beat faster. Not while I'm getting this sorted. I haven't got to, but it's what I chose to do. Same reason why I've got a beard now. And eventually that will change, God willing. But I got thinking about crutches and it's easy to see somebody with a crutch and we think of kind of the classic, they've got a crutch and a broken leg, they've got a cast on, so they use a crutch to help them to walk because their leg is weak. But that got me thinking about bones and how um, I was listening to a doctor talking about bones and when they break and they fuse back together again, they don't break where they broke. It, it's just either side, but the actual break is stronger because that bit that was weak is now stronger than it was before. I've mentioned kintsugi, I think it is, Japanese pots where they have a broken pot and they fix it with gold and what was broken becomes more valuable. But it's easy to see a, a pair of crutches and think, oh, well, they're, they're, they're not doing very well. They're quite weak, those people. And look, they've got to have a crutch to help them and support them. And we can have quite a negative, quite a dim view of a crutch. I remember at school, very vividly, a conversation with somebody who was very much, I am an atheist. And I remember chatting with him and he said, well, you're only a Christian because it's a crutch to get you through life. And I remember, this is the vivid part, I remember saying, yeah, you're dead right it is. Because without God, I couldn't get through life very well. In fact, I couldn't get through life at all. I'd be miserable and depressed. We see crutches, don't we, as things to to help people who aren't doing very well. But actually, crutches aren't just there for that. They're to support the body in order that strength can come. Yes, of course, there are people who use crutches for different reasons. But I'm thinking about broken bones here, and the crutch isn't permanent. It's a short-term aid. And eventually, the bones heal, and you learn to walk on that bone again, and you learn to trust your leg, and, and off you go. But it's easy to think, well, I'm weak, therefore I need this crutch and I can't do very well. But as Christians, yeah, if anybody accuses me of needing a crutch to get on with life and Jesus is that crutch, absolutely right you are. Because I need a crutch. I need Jesus in my life. Because he's the reason why I can get through. Maybe you've given up caffeine too. Nothing wrong with caffeine in the morning. I quite enjoy watching Joe having her first coffee and waking up through it. I miss doing that with my cup of tea. But there's nothing wrong with crutches. Let's not have a ne negative or a dim view of a crutch. A crutch enables us to do something else. It's a hate, it's an aid, and it helps us. Just a thought.